By now, I'm sure all of you know about the low inventory predicament sweeping the nation. Today, I'm going to talk about that, plus resale versus new construction. Welcome back everyone, I'm Tony Fries. If you want to know what it's like to live and play in between Austin and San Antonio, good news. That's what we try to show you here just about every week. This week, we're talking about low inventory and resale versus new construction using examples of homes in an area of New Braunfels, Texas we focused on last time. So if you haven't seen my recent video about the Hunter area in New Braunfels, check it out. If you have seen it, well, I'm sure you're already planning your river tubing trip. And if you happen to be looking for a home there, well, once again, through the magic of YouTube, I can be your eyes and ears and relay to you what we're seeing on the ground here. Excuse me. Hello? I love magic. I wish you could snap your fingers and make it easier to buy a home these days. Okay, uh, stay tuned, I guess. Well, just like about everywhere else in the country, there aren't many homes available for sale here. Active listings are down 63% over this time last year. I know it's frustrating for buyers. Maybe even unfair. Well, then why even fool with it? Well, there's a lot of reasons. You know them. Start with low interest rates. Another reason might be the ability to work from home. You don't need to live in the big city anymore, so you're looking for a better quality of life. And for out-of-towners, Texas in particular, has a few other advantages. Let's just say that for now, the grass is looking pretty green here. Oh. I love Texas. That's the best state in the nation, and I want to help keep it that way, too. Well, these are all great reasons for me to, to move, but, but how? I, I've bought homes before. I've got great credit. I'm golden. It was never like this, though. I was able to take my time and negotiate with the seller. Now they're, they're not even talking to me. Well, you've got a lot of competition. Inventory is so low that many buyers can't even see a home because they're flying off the shelves as soon as they're listed, especially if you're out of town. Cash is king. If you aren't paying cash, you need to have a significant down payment, and it's common for a buyer to guarantee to pay a certain amount over the appraised value in order to win a contract. You may need to tap into other money sources or use one of these lenders that'll loan you money equal to the amount of your current home equity so you can compete with Mr. Moneybags and make that all cash offer of yourself. Let's see what the inventory looks like in the Hunter area. Remember, this isn't all New Braunfels. It's just an area we talked about in my last video. We named it Hunter after one of the main roads. But there is a little more than 30,000 people there. This is it. These are your homes for sale. Of course, this will probably change tomorrow. The black ones are pending. Looks like these are in River Chase. 650 to 700 is probably near the bottom of their price range. This one for 1.2 has been here a while, which is common for luxury homes at this level. They're just going to take longer. These here, same story. I think they're actually in Havenwood. Another pending in Havenwood, under 800. This one is a stunner. Right on the river. At two and a half million dollars, it has not moved in many moons. I know it's beautiful. If you're looking for waterfront property at this level, consider the rivers. So, crossing Hunter Road, we start to enter the sweet spot of the hot market. This pending one is a two-year-old Perry home in a new subdivision I'll talk more about in a moment. This one's also a Perry home in the same subdivision. It's a little misleading though. It's still under construction and the pictures note a representative image. The builders do this from time to time. They'll put unfinished products up on the MLS. Maybe a buyer backed out of a contract or they're just promoting themselves. Perry has no new construction available until June when they open up the final phase of this community. This one's legit. Just under 400. Three bedroom, two story in Oak Creek Estates. It's only been on the market for a few days. They'll have received several offers by now. And finally, another pending. This one's listed under 277000 I wouldn't be surprised if it came in several thousand over that. It probably looks similar to this. What's it like trying to buy one of these sweet spot resales? You're going to have multiple offers in short order as soon as these things appear. If you can't visit in person, have your realtor walk through the home with you on a mobile Zoom call or create a 360 video tour for you. The listing agent will probably say they need all the offers submitted by Thursday and of course today is Tuesday or Wednesday even. Take a breath. Make sure this is the place that checks all your must-have boxes. Things are moving fast, but you'll want to feel good about the house, the location. If you do, listen to your agent's advice and put in a strong offer that you're comfortable with. 
If you're not feeling it, don't be afraid to move on. Believe it or not, new houses still pop up all the time. You might need to be flexible on little things, but stick to your guns on must-haves and it will come together. What's difficult in today's market is finding the absolute perfect everything. A catch-22 dilemma exists regarding the lack of sellers willing to sell in such a hot market. There's simply nowhere for them to move to, even if they would be offered everything they wanted and more. So, another reason that you're not seeing that many homes out there. As far as buyers go, many of these issues disappear with new construction. In most cases, you're not bidding against 30 faceless people with the bags of money and the ability to waive all their contingencies. I say in most cases because there are one or two builders out there that are playing games, so you have to know who they are. Your agent can help you with that. The ones I like to recommend, play it straight. Once you pay your deposit, your price is set. If it's a custom build, maybe you have some structural and design options, and after that, you're locked in. Watch your home value go up before you move in. And of course, you're getting a brand new home, brand new, with warranties. New construction has been on fire this year, all over Texas and much of the nation. Up and down the I-35 corridor in between Austin and San Antonio is no exception. Builders like Bella Vista, Guillen, Perry, Coventry, KB and the like can hardly keep up with the demand. What do you think? Well, brand new sounds good. I like shiny things. It's a little too good though, isn't it? The trade-off is you're going to need to be patient. A very few of them are completed and move in ready. I talked about inventory homes in an earlier video. There's already quite a few less today than when I made that last month. Some are ready, but most of the inventory homes are under construction. Your wait for these is probably a little more than a couple of months, a little longer than it used to take to close on a resale home. That's nice, but remember, you won't have any say in the design or layout with this option. They've already selected and ordered all the materials for that project, so what you see is what you get. Custom builders and semi-custom builders allow for finishing options, but are limiting the number of homes they start each month to just a few, sometimes just one or five, whatever, per month. Kind of changes. Let's say the number's going to be five per month. The builder's only going to start five homes each month. Why is that? High demand and escalating material costs. It's like they need to regroup and reassess. If you're not one of those lucky fives, you hope to be one next month. The sooner the better, because you haven't signed the contract yet to lock in, and the price is probably going to be more next month. So you're on a non-committed wait list. Sometimes you're waiting for the next month, and other times you're waiting for the next phase of the community to be open for development. That, of course, is going to push everything back a few more months. When the time comes to pick up the wait list, some builders are just, you know, randomly choosing somebody. Others, first come, first serve. Usually, to be called, you have to show proof of funds first, if you're paying cash, or be pre-approved with their lender. Sometimes they have in-house lenders, which could be a benefit since they're in tune with the builder's schedule. And sometimes they have incentives, like helping you with closing costs. Not always. That kind of thing changes. So great. They call you. You pick your finishes, sign a contract, pay your deposit, and wait for your custom home to be built. Five to ten months. I bet I would like working with an in-house lender. As long as I don't have to use them. No, you don't. Do I even need a realtor for any of this, though? I mean, I think they have salespeople, don't they? Having an agent doesn't really have a downside for you. In fact, if you have a good agent, it's probably a huge upside. Agents can do the legwork, finding neighborhoods and builders. They know the reputations of the builders, their products and warranties. They can explain the process and explain expectations. And importantly, your realtor's commission is paid by the builder, so it's not costing you anything to have that representation. Then they probably don't want me to have a realtor so they don't have to pay. Most builders appreciate realtor involvement and will let you use realtors as long as you let them know up front that you have representation. You're probably going to fill out one of those registration cards, so when visiting the models, if you have the name and contact information of your realtor, perfect. Please just include the contact info on the card and they can advise you whether that's going to be honored down the road. Easy, right? <sighs> Easy. So what will I need for earnest money? Down pay <laughs> Seriously? Down payments and deposits. 
when you go under contract for an inventory home or a custom build, you'll need to make some sort of down payment. Every builder's different. Some will be okay with just $1,000. Others want up to 10% down. Sometimes they're negotiable. Sometimes you can make them in payments over a few months. Maybe a smaller one in the beginning and a larger one later on. That could be helpful for those folks that need to sell their home first. You may also need to pay an additional deposit after selecting finishes at the design center if you went over a certain amount. What do you say we take a drive? Hello? We're not done, are we? Well, you can be. Uh, I'm going to take the folks on a tour of the new build neighborhoods in the Hunter area. So, but thank you so much for your participation in this week's YouTube video presentation. You're welcome. What do I get? All right, I've been showing you some footage of some of these places. They're located south of Hunter Road. They're literally minutes from the HEB Plus grocery store. Very close to Town Center at Creekside. That's the big box retail with restaurants on the freeway. It's a short jaunt to the premium outlet malls. Very close to Historic Green, River Road, Resolute Hospital. And it's a convenient jump to I-35 if you're commuting to Austin or San Antonio. This particular area is in the Comal Independent School District. Here's your ratings. First up is Wasser Ranch. As you enter, you'll see a nice pond surrounded by benches. Great place for watching the sunset, I guess. It's stocked, and they allow catch and release fishing. Enjoy the open pavilion for family gatherings. There's a dog park and a lovely walking trail surrounded by green space with an adjacent small lake. It's a pleasant opportunity for a little exercise or a stroll in the evening hours. They're also planning a playground. These are currently going between 330 and 450 or so. Square footage, 1700 to 3300 roughly. Oak Creek Estates is across the street. Dates back to 2009. Here's a look at some of the original streets. They've got a nice playground and community pool. A couple of playgrounds actually. Here's some newer homes, maybe a year old or so. Most of the ones under construction are sold, but they do have some available. They've just started that should be ready by early fall. The Oak Creek Elementary School is located right here in the neighborhood. Arroyo Verde says, you will feel right at home in our welcoming neighborhood full of lush green trails and cool pools to beat the heat of Texas days. Well, okay, the pool's been started anyway. I'm sure the current residents are watching that closely as the temperatures rise. They've started and sold this block, but expect to open their final phase this summer. There's a wait list for that. Call me if you're interested in. These are Perry homes, which have a reputation for very high quality. The prices are about the same, 330 to 430, but they're a bit smaller, 1500 to 2600 square feet. Cloud Country is down the road, represented by Bella Vista, Armadillo, and Guillen Homes. From the high twos to the low fours, square feet, 1650 to 2950. They got a clubhouse and a community pool. Some of them have natural gas utilities. Finally, across the freeway, there's the Overlook at Creekside, extremely convenient to the Creekside Shopping Center. Avoid all the traffic with the back roads. It's also right next door to the Stars and Stripes Drive-In Movie Theater. How fun is that? Still in the Comal School District, that's Canyon High and Canyon Middle School, and the youngsters here will go to the Fry Height Elementary School. There's a couple of different builders, Coventry, MI, Syntex, Pulte. So your prices are going to be anywhere from the mid twos to the mid to high threes. Honestly, I don't know if you're going to be able to continue offering mid twos for much longer. If you're looking at new builds, you need to get on some of these wait lists. Give me a call and I'll set you up. You know, this area is just ideal for commuters. Whew. Maybe this isn't exactly where you want it to be. Did you want to be closer to San Antonio or Austin? Let me help. But you got to reach out. Days, nights, weekends, call, text, email. Until next time, thanks for watching.